Hi, this is the Creality Space by X4. In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain to you why this is the most versatile filament dryer that you can buy at this moment. My name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator. Whenever I work with filaments like PATG, ASA or ABS, I often run into problems because my filament is too moist straight out of the storage. This moisture affects print quality and the only solution is to dry my filament. Until last month I used a converted food dehydrator to dry my filament rolls one by one. It worked, but it wasn't ideal. I didn't want to spend money on an expensive filament dryer though. Then Creality came with the Space by X4. I had already looked at other filament drying systems, but there was always something wrong with them. Some couldn't reach high enough temperatures, some couldn't dry and print at the same times, and the Space by X4 seemed to solve all of those issues. Just as I was thinking about getting one, Creality contacted me and asked if I wanted to try the Space by X4 and make a review out of it. Of course, I said yes. Now, for a full disclosure, Creality sent me the Space by X4 for free to make a review out of it. But they didn't pay me to make this video and they didn't ask for any specific content. So anything I say in this video are my own thoughts and Creality didn't have any saying in this. The Space by X4 is designed for one kilogram or smaller filament rolls. You can load them into one of the two compartments and here is where it gets interesting. Each compartment can be controlled independently. You can set different temperatures, drying times and even choose whether you want to use the filament directly in a 3D printer while it is drying. For example, you can dry PATG or PLA filament in one slot and then ASA in another slot, each with their own temperatures and time settings. Each compartment has its own drying settings and you can leave filament inside during and after drying and the Space Pi X4 can monitor the humidity levels and automatically restart the drying process if the moisture goes above a chosen limit. The compartments are sealed airtight and locked securely, so that no moist air gets in accidentally. Now let's talk about the menu. The touchscreen on the front is easy to use. It shows nice graphics plus the temperature and humidity levels of both compartments. There are also quick access buttons. One for your three custom presets, one for the auto mode, which auto detects when drying is needed, and one for general settings. You can also tap on the screen for each compartment to exit its specific settings. For example, you can tell the space by what type of filament is inside and it will automatically choose the correct drying temperature and time for you. So you don't have to know or look up the drying settings manually. All in all, it's an easy to use dryer that can hold up to four spools in two separate compartments. Each compartment heats up to a maximum of 85 degrees Celsius, allowing you to dry a wide variety of engineering filaments. But more than that, I find it the most practical filament dryer on the market at this moment. In my workflow, I mostly use printers with an AMS system that allow automatic filament switching. But my printers can take filament from the AMS or from a separate PTFE tube. Because the Space Pie has two PTFE ports per spool, I can keep the AMS filled with materials like PLA, which aren't sensitive to moisture, and use the Space Pie for the more demanding materials. That means that I can run up to four printers with engineering grade filaments straight from the Space Pie while the AMSs handle everything else. My final thoughts, well, I'm really impressed with the quality, the features and the user friendliness of the Space Pie because, well, it stands out from the rest and it's really a very, very good filament dryer. Of course, it's not perfect. 
it doesn't fit larger rolls like 2 or 3 kg spools. And when both lids are open, at the same time, they can bump into each other. You can find the link to the Space by X4 below this video. Thanks for watching and after this, well, I hope you also visit my other videos. See you later. Bye bye.